you're new to this channel hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel hello and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl joy yes your favorite girl the one and only girl you know if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome my name is joy and i'm a nursing student in nigeria so by the title of this video you know what you're about to watch make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button so that anytime i upload a video you'll be the first to know so without further ado let's just dive right into the video yes guys so welcome back once again and um, today i'm just going to be pouring it out i'm just going to be honest about uh, my feelings about everything on um, as in finishing school at the age that I finished and then waiting for two years before getting into a tertiary institution. So I like you all know and if you don't know please go down below. We have few videos down on the channel. Make sure you watch those videos so that you'll be up to date in our journey and then um, so on so guys um i'm in the dining area as you can see the, the light in here is just top notch so um like i told you guys i finished from school in 2018 like i graduated i wrote my wayek and then if you don't know what wayek is is a senior secondary certificate exam that you write when you are about to graduate so or when you are graduating before your graduation party so we did that and then after that i was thinking <laughs> you know you have your own way and god also has his own way and so back what i was saying i graduated in 2018 and i was expecting you know i was expecting that 2018 or 2019 at least i would have been, I would have gone to the higher institution. So 2018 passed. I, I graduated in August 2018 and um, 2018, 2018 was progressing. I started my first JAM lesson. If you don't know what JAM is, JAM is joint. So JAM is Joint Admission Matriculation Board. So they are the one in Nigeria, they do regulate the admission. Like if you want to go to a higher institution, JAM is one of the sure ways that you can use. You can just write the JAM exam and then you move on to the institute, you go for the institute, pursue TME, that's the exam set by the institute and then, you know, you can gain admission through that way. So in 2018, I um, started lesson you know i and my brother my immediate elder brother we you know started lesson and we're going to this lesson it was very interesting we were you know we were learning and yeah so we were moving like that like that like that so but although we were not consistent in the lesson due to some reasons and i took my first jam in 2019 and um, i think they do the jam around February, March. Yeah, February, March. So I took my first jam and we were waiting for the scores. And when the score came out, I got 170. At the first try, I got 170. So, um, so 170 cannot get nursing in a university. It cannot get you to study BSc nursing in a university. So, we were also trying um, other options. We didn't want to put all our eggs in one basket, you know. So we we're also trying other options, and we tried the School of Nursing, FCT School of Nursing in Abuja. And at that time, I was 16, and the age they wanted was 17. So we said, let me just try it. If I pass, maybe they would God willing, they will accept me, and then. Um, I also tried the I also tried the exam for the FCT School of Nursing. Yeah, so I also tried the 
School of Nursing exam in Abuja and then the results came out and my name was not in the interview list. So 2019, we were still waiting. And in 2019, I chose um, University of Ibadan. So they didn't give me the admission and then after that letter we saw i saw one message that i've got an admission into college of education education or your yes ibado or your so ibado is one of the states in nigeria so they have university different states have their different university and yes and they don't offer nursing in college of education so 2019 passed but before 2019 passed i i was eager to work at age 16 okay i was eager to work so i told my dad i told my parents that um i would like to work because i don't want to be staying at home and guys if you know me i'm this very independent person i can do anything that is legally right to sustain myself to just any living i can do anything that is legally right so i started my first work and then um, i started working there i it was a provision store so i worked it's it wasn't up to two weeks i worked there then i got the second job so the second job i was working i was working there and I was also studying. I was also studying for the next exams I would have in in that in 2020 because 2019 was already gone. So I was working. I was working and I was working. So I was also studying. So, but guys, it was not easy to study while working. It's 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 not just easy to study while working. But thanks to God were studying so 2020 came and we wanted to write a second jam but in 2019 ending after work we go to work by 7 6 37 and we will close maybe 3 4 5 my work when you go early you will come early because that's it we don't we don't really have time when we close but when you resume work early you will go early so what me and what my colleague and i usually do is that we will try as much as possible to go early so that we can close early so in 2019 ending i started another jam lesson it wasn't the first center it wasn't that same first lesson i started another lesson and i will go to work i would i would um wake up i would cook the days i can cook i would cook and i'll bathe i'll prepare and i'll go to work and when i go to work by three o'clock i i will be rounding up so that i can go for my jam lesson so that i can go there and i think they start by four four o'clock um yeah pm they start by 4 pm then i'll go there after the jam lesson and um, the jam lesson ends by 7 pm then i'll go back home so that was my routine that was my routine for almost two years and the second jam lesson came i prepared and i i, I so prepared i was determined because at this point my my mates in school they, they were already in school most of them they were already in school so i was very determined i wanted to go to school i was even tired of working at this point i was tired of working and i just wanted to go to school yes i was tired of home i was tired of working at this point i just wanted to go to school so i i would wake up by 4 a.m in the morning i would study and by 5 i would go prepare work and I will go to work but when when I was doing that 4 a.m. was not enough for me to read so I started waking up by 3 a.m. to study and by 5 or 5 30 I would prepare for work so that was how I was doing it I was doing it I continued 
guys i was determined because you have to be determined to <laughs> you have to be determined and i was reading okay for jam for jam lesson you have to just take four subjects four courses and english is compulsory so what i did i chose english physics chemistry and biology so that was the four course i chose i'm a science student so i chose those four course and i was studying and study cook prepare go to work when after work i can rush home my my house was not far from my work because it was not far from my my work was not far from my house i can just walk there just walk to my house and walk back to work but where the jam lesson was was far from my house so i would just you know take a um, bike some some days i and my elder brother we would take the bike together and we'll go to the lesson so it continued like that and the exam was approaching the jump exam was approaching so we so we took you know we we took the jam and um, i was waiting for the result i remember when i went to bed and i took my phone there was no light so i took my phone to um give me light so i just saw a message and it was from jam it was from jam you know and they told me that i scored 206 in my second jam i was so excited because i just wanted to score 200 and above so that i can get nursing in a university so that i can go do my bsc nursing you get so i was happy i was excited and um, this time i did not choose um, University of Ibado because that was far. I realized that it was far, and I'm in Abuja going to Ibado. People do it, but I realized that that was far. So I changed to normally jam. You have um, first, you, you can have your first choice, then your second choice. You know, you can have your first choice, your second choice of institute. So the first choice I put in. Um, Bayaro University in Kano and the second choice I chose um, Delta State Delta State University Abraka. Some people also call it Delsu. So I chose that and then um, you know I still did not want to put all my eggs in one basket. So since I was 17 at that age, I said let me try State School of uh, let me try FCT School of Nursing also. So I tried it and my name did not still come out like guys my name did not still come out so i i was hoping on my uh, my jam result so um corona came and it hit and we were at home even the work i was in they said we should go home to relax and all of that corona had effect you know it had an effect on so many things so we we went to rest and um the i did i didn't go for the bayaro university in Kano. they do post me that's the exam that the school will set they do post me and i didn't go for that because the the bayaro exam clashed with the state school of nursing agro exam entrance exam so i i thought to myself i said if if i go for bayaro exam and leave school of nursing exam that i might be given admission but i might not be given nursing to study you know university there are so many courses if if, if they do not offer you the course that you want you might be offered another course okay they will, if you pass the bosuemi exam they will not just leave you like that if they don't give you your course they will give you another course but but the state school of nursing or the school of nursing is a program for nursing so you know when you write that exam you know that they will give you nursing if they don't give you nursing they'll give you nursing <laughs> you get so i had no choice but to just go for the school of nursing so first um let me go back to when let me go back to when to that coronavirus period so in um 
let me just say this nowhere is very safe it's god that protects his children it's god that helps us it's god that watch over our going out and our coming in but at that time um, we were hearing so much about the north and although i had a friend there and i had people there but i was just hearing so much about the north different things happening there that i would not like to happen to me if you're in nigeria you know you know the stuff you know about the things we hear on a daily basis so when i heard that I went to the jam office, then I decided to change my institute, I decided to change my institute, that was in early 2020, I decided to change my institute and I changed it to AAU, AAU is Ambrose Ali University in Edo State, Ekoma. so I changed to that and then my, my sister, not, not my blood, but I have a sister that went to the school and she was like it's so expensive and all of that and then um, so many things she was just telling me but she assured me that they were going to give me admission that they don't deny people but i should just know that if they don't give me nothing they will give me something else so when i was registering for the exam you know the when i was registering for the aau that's Ambrose Ali University. I was registering, so they told me that was your short, um, course that you want to study, and I said it's you know it's nothing. Sorry guys, and I said it's nothing that I want to study. They said um, if choose a second um, choose a second course in case they don't give you nothing. I chose um, I chose. I showed medical laboratory science so and i chose another course because they tell you to choose three courses but um i was checking i was checking it and then uh, one day you know i i checked it and i saw okay i was waiting and waiting and i decided to just um google online and i saw that they've already finished giving admission to this school i went to change to you get so guys they've already finished giving admission to this school i wanted to go to and i was frustrated guys you need to see the way i was crying <laughs> hey at this point second try of jam i got 260 and um, sorry i got 206 and guys the exam at this point was was just was just tired to me i wanted to be done writing exams I, I just wanted to be done writing exams i've written two exams two entrance exam of school of nursing i've written two jam at this point i was tired in two years i wrote four exams so i was contemplating of going to ijmb or jupep i was there were so many things i was contemplating on so i cried and cried and I stopped checking the portal for AAU. I, I just stopped checking the portal. I was tired of all this and then um, all of that. I was so, 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 so frustrated at this point. I was tired of going to work, like I said. So I went back to the jump office and I told them that I wanted to change from AAU to uh, Bayaro University back. You know, I changed from Bayaro to AAU and now I'm changing from. AAU to Bayaru, so they told me that it was going to be hard, okay, that um, AAU will soon start writing their post UTM, and I was like, let me just change it. So, seated in the um, jump office, seated there, they said we should wait for OTP, OTP means one-time password, like if you want to go do anything there, they have to send you this password to the number you use in registry for jump, and then... Um, so we were waiting for this password and the password refused to come. So guys, when I was at the jam office, the, the one-time password refused to come. And I just said, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me. He just said, go and check AAU portal. And I just, so I said, let me just go to AAU portal and check. And when I went there, behold, I saw congratulations. Hey! <laughs> I saw congratulations, you've been given admission, so 
I, I was checking if they gave me nothing. I was checking, checking. Just went to check AAU portal and I saw congratulations that have been given admission. I was so happy. I was so, so happy. So I decided to check which course they give to me. And um, I, I, was, I, I, was, I went to the cafe. They didn't see the course. I was just seated in my phone and I said, let me, you know, check. And I was operating my phone and I was operating behold, I just saw that um, they gave me a BSc Health Education and I was like, oh my God, I don't want BSc Health Education, can they just change it? But at that point they cannot. So they offered me another um, choice. They said I can do, I can go to the AAU, do um, the course that they gave to me for one year and after doing it then they would, I would, I would write a letter to the chancellor then they can now change the course to nothing since I'm already in the school but the chances, I was, I was afraid, the chances that I wouldn't get nothing I was thinking would I get nothing? Would I not get it? So um, I remember I went to the office to change from AAU to Valley Harry. But after seeing that they gave giving me admission, I did not bother to change it. I just came back. So I decided to you know focus on um, state school of nursing agbo and after writing the exam, I went for the interview. My name came out for the interview, and after writing the interview. My name also came out in the school, and that was how I resumed um, State School of Nursing Agro, and I was so excited. After two years, I am I'm in school, and I thank God that I entered the school at this time. Um, all those years that I I was at home, I thank God for everything. And at this point, the only thing I can say is thank God, because. Um, in the school where I am right now, um, after after your first exam, they will also bring a name. They will also bring names, and if your name is there, that's the final name they will bring. And if your name is there, you you become their student permanently. And it's only when you commit an offense, when you commit a, a serious crime, that you can be expelled or suspended from the school but after the exam you are now a student of the school and over so many years they've been they've wanted to increase the quota they've they wanted to do some accreditation and they also want to increase the quota from accepting 75 students to accepting 100 students and they did it this year and this state school of nursing they accept um, people they do they run the admission twice in a year so this is, this is just my experience and um, when i was talking to a friend about that i stayed two years in the house and all of that and my friend was like hmm, your own is just two years mine was um six years i was like wow <laughs> yours was six years and mine was two years and i was complaining guys it can be very frustrating after your secondary school, you are just at home doing nothing. I also have this friend that I've stayed more than I stayed for up to five, or up to four years. But thank God this year she got admission into um, school. We are so grateful. If you are going through this, guys, <laughs> I understand. I understand. Just keep trying. Don't give up. Just continue to try, and um, you also get a congratulation and you go to school it can be very very frustrating i understand we understand so guys drop in the comment section your experience tell me if you've experienced such a thing tell me and when you finish school when you got into school tell me how many times you wrote jam tell me the exams you went for did you go for jupep did you go for igmb how was the results and all of that Keep it down in the comment section so guys if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me click the bell notification and also like this video guys make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video by the grace of god stay safe my cousin she's in state school of nursing Agbo, so um, she told me that 
they've, they've started selling their form that I should speak to the form and I should try it if I would pass so that I can call. Guys, let me let me say something. It's not like it's not like you are not brilliant. It's not like you don't read, but <laughs> there's just a way they do it. Okay, there's just a way they do it. If you understand, it's fine. So the <laughs> you know you know what I'm talking about. So the connection, the connection. So she said I should do it, and then I applied for the school. My uncle helped me. That's my cousin's father. He helped me to get the form because I was in Abuja and he was in Delta. So that was how he did it. He helped me to get the form and all of that. And then I came from Abuja to Delta to write the exam. And I I went back. And when I went back to Abuja, after like four days, they called me back that I should come for the interview. So I so I stayed in April. I, I just stayed. I didn't go back to Abuja again. So and that's how I resumed school, um, state school of nursing Arbo, and I was so excited. After two years, I am I'm in school, and I thank God that I entered the school at this time. Um, all those years that I I was at home, I thank God for everything. And at this point, the only thing I can say is thank God, because um, in the school where I am right now, um, after after your first exam, they will also bring a name. They will also bring names, and if your name is there, that's the final name they will bring. And if your name is there. You, you become their student permanently and it's only when you commit an offense when you commit a, a serious crime that you can be expelled or suspended from the school but after the exam you are now a student of the school and over so many years they've been they've wanted to increase the quota they've they wanted to and do some accreditation and they also want to increase the quota from accepting 75 students to accepting 100 students and they did it this year and this state school of nursing they accept um, people they do they run the admission twice in a year so this is this is just my experience and um, when i was talking to a friend about that I stayed two years in the house and all of that and my friend was like hmm, your own is just two years mine was um, six years I was like wow <laughs> yours was six years and mine was two years and I was complaining guys it can be very frustrating after your secondary school you are just at home doing nothing I also have this friend that I've stayed more than I stayed for up to five for up to four years but thank God this year she got admission into um, school we are so grateful if you're going through this guys <laughs> i understand i understand just keep trying don't give up just continue to try and then um, you also get a congratulation and you will go to school it can be very very frustrating i understand we understand so guys drop in the comment section your experience tell me if you've experienced such a thing tell me and when you finish school, when you got into school, tell me how many times you wrote jam. Tell me the exams you went for. Did you go for JUPEP? Did you go for IGMB? How was the results and all of that? Keep it down in the comment section. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. Click the bell notification and also like this video guys make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video by the grace of god stay safe